when you travel to a new destination, you pick a hotel that is in proximity to all the main areas of your interest. You also choose a location that is well connected through the subway or rail and bus routes. Without these connectors, traveling around the city can get extremely difficult. Similarly, in your body, the location of the heart and its connectivity with every inch of the body play an integral role. In the human body, blood is transported through a circulatory system, which consists of the central pumping organ, which is the heart and the blood vessels. Blood has a fluid medium called plasma, in which the blood cells are suspended. The plasma helps transport carbon dioxide, oxygen and nitrogenous wastes. The oxygen in the blood is mainly transported by hemoglobin. This blood is transported through the entire body with the help of the heart. The heart is located inside the rib cage. and situated behind the sternum between the lungs. It remains enclosed in a double-walled sac called the pericardium. It has an outer fibrous layer and an inner serous layer. Between these two layers is a very narrow space called the pericardial cavity, which is filled with pericardial fluid. If we observe the internal view of the heart, we see that the heart has four chambers. Two upper thin-walled atria and two lower thick-walled ventricles. The two atria are separated by the interatrial septum and the ventricles are separated by the interventricular septum. There are a number of valves present in the chambers of the heart. The right atrioventricular valve lies between the right atrium and the right ventricle. It is called the tricuspid valve as it consists of three flaps. The pointed end of the flaps are projected towards the ventricles. These are attached to the wall of the ventricles through tendons like cords called cordia tendinia. The left AV valve is made up of two flaps and is thus called the bicuspid valve. The pulmonary artery and the aorta have semilunar valves which prevent the backflow of blood into the ventricles. The right and left atria pump blood into the right and left ventricles respectively. From the right ventricle arises a pulmonary artery which carries deoxygenated blood to the lungs. In the lungs, the blood gives up carbon dioxide and takes in oxygen. The oxygenated blood then returns to the left atrium of the heart through the pulmonary veins. This part of the circulatory system where the blood is carried between the heart and lungs is called pulmonary circulation. The left ventricle has an ascending aorta which supplies oxygenated blood to all parts of the body. Once this blood reaches the body, it gives up oxygen and picks up carbon dioxide. The deoxygenated blood then returns to the right atrium through the vena cavi. This part of the circulatory system that carries blood between the heart and body is called systemic circulation. These circuits make the blood pass through the heart twice. Once between the heart and lungs in the pulmonary circuit and once between the heart and body in the systemic circuit. This is called double circulation. 
The blood vessels are of three types. The arteries, which are thick-walled, the veins, which are thin-walled, and the capillaries. The arteries carry blood from the heart to different organs, and the veins carry blood from the different organs to the heart. Capillaries are the blood vessels present at the terminals of arteries and veins. These capillaries are extremely thin-walled and narrow. And it is through them that the exchange of gases and the exchange of wastes and nutrients takes place. Let us summarize. The heart is located inside the rib cage, behind the sternum and between the lungs. The two upper chambers are called the atria that are the right and left atrium. The lower chambers are called ventricles that are the right and left ventricles. There are a number of valves present in the chambers of the heart. Blood vessels are of three types. The arteries that are thick-walled, the veins that are thin-walled and the capillaries that are extremely thin-walled and narrow. The pulmonary circulation consists of the deoxygenated blood being carried from the lungs through the pulmonary veins to the heart in the oxygenated form. The systemic circulation consists of the oxygenated blood being taken from the body through the veins to the heart in deoxygenated form. These two circuits make up double circulation, which means that the blood circulates through the heart twice. Now that we know where the heart is located and how it is connected with each part of the body, it is time for you to take a dive deeper and explore the different parts of the heart. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.